Now when using our scrapy shell, you will note that when we are writing code, we miss all of the features which we enjoy in our special code editors. That is, here if I just open and close brackets, you can see we have to do that manually. That is, if I open a bracket, I have to close it as well. The same for strings. That is, if I open a string, I have to close it manually as well. But in our code editor, we get the syntax highlighting along with the nifty features. Like if I just open a bracket, it closes automatically. If I open a string, it closes automatically as well. Now let's say what we want to do is get that feature in our shell and we can get that pretty easily with IPython. So when we are in our virtual environment, let's first of all exit of our shell using the exit function. And then what we want to do is just use our shell with some syntax highlighting and auto suggestions. For that, we can just install a Python package called IPython inside of our virtual environment and then just run this command, hit enter, let it install IPython in our virtual environment. Then we can run our scrapy shell again. That is our scrapy shell command. And now you will notice that the prompt changes from the arrows to line number like this. So let's go ahead and just fetch the response. You can see when I'm typing something, we get the suggestion faded away after it as well. That is, you can see if I just type in FE, we get the TCH after the fetch word as well. So that's some auto suggestion done by IPython. And then if I just open a bracket and let's enter the URL that is HTTPS colon, and then we have books to scrape.com and let me enter that then you can see that the brackets are highlighted as well that is this is the opening bracket this is the closing bracket and the strings are highlighted in color as well if i hit enter we get our response back which is just fine and now you will see that the prompt changes from one to two which is we are inside of line two or the second operation now let's say we'll just use the response and css and then let's say what I will do is select the H3A and let's just get that value. Now you can see we get the output like this. That is the output of this value right here is this one. So this is how we can use IPython inside of our scrapy shell to get some syntax highlighting. Now, if I use the response CSS, you can see it just gives us the suggestion. And if I just hit the upper arrow key, we'll bring up the upper code. And let's say I'll just use the attribute, get the title and get the title. Then if I just hit enter, we get the title back and vice versa. So if you want to get some simple syntax highlighting inside of our shell with some suggestions we can use ipython instead of our normal scrapy shell and if you want you can also install bpython that is if you're on a mac or linux you can use that but bpython does not work that well with windows system that's why i didn't mention it here so if you want you can also install bpython that is pip install bpython as well but even if you install IPython in your system and that does not get used in your scrapy shell, then what you can do is just configure that yourself. That is inside of our project. We have the configuration file that is scrapy.config. And here you can just change that inside of settings. That is the shell will be equals to IPython like this. This way you will explicitly define IPython to be your shell. So that's how we can just get some simple shell configuration in our scrapy shell.